Yeah, so um, this is video two. Video two. It's dark in here because my kid is sleeping watching Gumby. <laughs> I have all my cleaning supplies. Distilled water. Spray. Um, no, can air. Clean Kleenex. Storage baggies, this. I think this scope is from like between 78 and 80. I did some serial number research. Microfibers, different tins. I really like these triple size cotton balls. They're so fun. And yeah, uh, Celestron Williams cold camera. Somebody helped me out on that on Facebook. Thank you very much. This controller needs a little bit more research. Tons of power plugs. This old school red light. And they all have very similar adapters. Um, obviously for a car. Finder power source. Got the, the lid for it. Which one is it? This one still has film. I'd like to get it developed. So, um, that would be really cool if there was actually something on it since this guy was an astrophotographer. got this thing all wired up weird. Actually, what I did do is I, I did clean this. Um, I sanded it. I sanded this area around here, so I'm going to go spray some, some adhesive, and I'm going to attach that today. Throw that down, and hang on, I'll be right back in one second. So a few things I want to point out. It does have the original Celestron diagonal, which is in serious need of cleaning. This turns really nice, the focuser. He's got this thing wired all over the place. So we have the setting circles. We do have the, the weight here because he was into astrophotography apparently. So definitely needed this. When I turn it to this side, You got the University 8x50 right angle finder. You see, you need some cleaning. Uh, the, the finder scope rings need repainting. I don't know if there was a serial number here, but if there was, that's long gone. Tube is fairly dirty, but. My job is paint at work, so I don't know if these were dew heaters or not. I'm not sure. This is an interesting accessory. Doesn't match up with that, but it does have an LED. I don't know if I can get, I don't know if I can show it. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's a red LED right there. Maybe to show. Right there. And it's got like a magnifying glass. That, I don't know. Interesting accessory. It does have a wire coming through here. Let me just uh, pause it again. Actually, no, I won't pause. I, I think I can swing it. Here we got this, there's a motor down in here, off to this side. We got a belt, some gears, and I was curious if that is part of the, the controller here or not. This belt's kind of dry rotted, so I'm not sure. 
And I do have another loose <clears throat> right here. I have one of these hanging out. That might be for something else. It's very similar to that one right there. Besides that, uh, got the counterweight. So my goal is, is to strip it all. Take the, the finder off, counterweight, refurbish all that, clean it up. I'm not sure about this. I'm gonna, this wires obviously for, for the light that's mounted into there. So you can see the, uh, the RA settings or deck settings. And yeah, hang on one sec. So you can see the corrector is definitely dusty. And uh, there's like debris inside. I have some cobwebs and just stuff in there. I think you can see it in there. So I'd like to remove that. So we wanted to do it today. I still may be able to take all that off and uh, yeah, just clean it up. It looks like the, the primary is really clean through the dust of the, the secondary, but we'll see. Definitely going to be a little bit of a project, but what isn't guys? My goodness see that's that's dusty too yeah the the Williams optics cold camera pretty neat and I'm really curious here's another red light like what kind of power supply setup interface that he had used to, to plug everything in here All right, so I got the primary off. Not the primary, the corrector, I mean. All sorts of gunk down there. Yeah, so I, I cleaned the... The objective. It wasn't easy. I just kept taking distilled water, cotton balls, and this dabbing, dab, 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 swirl, dab, 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 and just, I made a pile. That's on my original pile. The original pile is in the wood stove. So, um, I cleaned the inside of the corrector plate so far. You see my marks. Got some marks inside here. Doo, doo, doo. Those are those little, little foamers. Um, there's another one if I didn't lose it. Yeah, right there. And one was loose. So, uh, I'm just gonna clean the front of the corrector plate with all my cleaning solutions. Slap that thing back on. Oh, speaking of slap it back on, cover it. And put that back together. I'm gonna... I don't want to say quick, but clean the finder scope. Get that bolted on for now. I do want to refurbish it and repaint some of the finders and everything. Uh, whatever. But yeah. That's it for now. 10-4. Everything is super sharp and shiny. Very happy. I'm going to slap it all back together now. I'm making my mess here. It's windy and it's supposed to clear up tonight, but I'm hoping get the glass back on. Doom, 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 doom. Everything works out good. Clean the finder scope is the next gig. And uh, slap it on the tripod. I'm very happy how that came out because uh, it could have been much worse. I made my markings. I cleaned everything. I got the... Once I pulled the... The corrector off. I was able to clean the, the primary. And dusted the hole inside because there was cobwebs and junk in there. 
And then I cleaned, you know, like I said, everything before. Uh, distilled water. Tons of cotton balls. Lots of clean Kleenex. And uh, over here, oh, I diluted this a quite a bit actually with the distilled water. When you don't dilute this stuff, it's like wax on wax off. You have like a lot of haze. So I learned with, with diluting that with a, with a cotton ball and distilled water. It works very good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the screws back in. And then frick it. <laughs> Mount it to the to the tripod. Um I still wanna recondition the the exterior of the 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 optical tube and the fork arms and everything, but look out the window. It's supposed to be kind of clear tonight. Windy and very cold, of course. Very cold. Has to be thrown in there. However, uh yeah, just gonna just gonna do it. Holy crap, I'm done. I'm like pretty much going to Canada tomorrow. North Northern Vermont, Derby, Vermont. It's like a three hour drive. So I was trying to hustle this sucker out. I cleaned the optics, cleaned the the finder scope. I have the, the drive right here. Set everything to my 43 degrees. Very happy how, how the optics came out right there. Oh, I still have the tape there a little bit where I was marking it. It's okay. Oh, optics are nice. Tripods all squared away. Uh, tube's still dirty and everything. I haven't cleaned that yet. I just, I wanted to get the, the wedge the tripod, the optics clean. The finder scope clean, which is this, this is the better finder. It's the eight by fifty, uh, right angle, and it's got so many neat things attached to this. It has like this motor right here that was for the joystick control, and look, you can see the other motor. Where was it? It was somewhere down there. Um, that'd be really fancy and neat if I can get that hooked up. So I'm gonna let it sit out here, cool down. Sky is looking cold and windy, slightly blue. And I'm gonna go to Canada. Not really. Right on the border. I might like harass the border people. Probably not. My wife would get mad. <laughs> they might get mad. Maybe if I aimed a telescope at them, be like, what are you doing? I'm gonna go because it is freaking cold. And uh yeah, I'm gonna make the video in. See you guys later.